Well, got my handy compass I'm gonna try. I've got my brand new pack. Let's go out and explore some Badland wilderness, shall we? Come along with me. Alright, so I'm not having a lot of luck. My GPS is kind of bopping me all over the place. I'm going to stop up here. I think these are the petrified logs. I think I'm going to take a few photos of those. And uh, it's a full moon, as you can see in a minute. I think it'd be really neat to walk back in the moon. Maybe do some moonlight shots back here. I think it would be really cool. But the, the sun is so pretty on these rocks. I think I'm going to be able to do handheld. So let's go see what we can do. just spectacular. I'm gonna to try to get behind that and get the sun starburst and then I'm gonna shoot these. Gotta move fast. pretty good shot. I think I'm pretty happy with it. We're waiting for that pink light to make its way over here and we'll see what we can do as far as photographing in the pink light. I don't know. It's kind of a weird formation set. Thanks for coming along. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Thank you. 
Okay, well, here's the deal. I'm back in the van. It's late. Um, and I stayed out in those hoodoos that I was photographing until the sun went down. And as you can see, you'll see from the images, we're going to get up and see what happens in the morning. And if there's a sunrise, we'll photograph it. I'm probably not going to walk back out there to do the sun up because I got such great images tonight. And I got lost while I was out there. So um, here's the thing. Never much fun to get lost out in the middle of the barren wilderness by yourself in the dark. Thankfully, I did a couple of things. I wasn't going to take a headlight because I thought I'd be back before dark. And I did take a headlight that was fully charged, which was good. And I took this. This is my Garmin Vortex. And I thought, man, I, the trail's pretty easy. It's marked for the most part, I think. And I don't need it. But I did go through the trouble of downloading the GPS file for this trail onto this device. Had I not had this on, I'd be out there until morning. There's no way I could have found my way back. There's just no way. Um, this didn't do a great job, but uh, if you decide to go out into the woods and you're doing photography, I recommend taking at least a compass. Make sure your phone is charged if you're using that. But um, I'm going to go and get some sleep because I am tired and beat up because I fell down a couple of the... Uh, um, I don't know what they're called, the Badland Mounds, um, but uh, they were pretty rocky, like lava rock, so I'm pretty cut up on my legs. <laughs> Adventures with Rob is always fun. All right, so let's talk tomorrow, uh, even if it's just to say thanks and we'll see you. I, I, I feel like this video is a little bit like when Michael Scott was making a video in the tent at night because he was scared or something, or doing a mock Blair Witch thing. That's kind of what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see ya. Uh, I'll see ya. sunrise photography this morning so uh, again a lesson uh, you know from last night you get in there and you get turned around and uh, you, you really want to make sure that you've got some way to get yourself back out so you want to recognize a navigable monument or something that you know that you have to go back to um, at the bare minimum you know if, if, if you have it get a map of the area so you kind of have an idea where you're at that's well marked and know how to read it have a compass if you so choose but you, know, you can always use these gps apps on your phone like gaia gps all trails um, it's uh it's something that you want to have i've got the garmin vortex wrist gps that works okay it's a little bit quirky I, i'm not impressed with garmin's technology on that but it got me out of there it got me out of there make sure you have batteries like I said, my phone ran out of batteries last night. So, Well, I'm going to hit the road and uh, I'm going to go back and first make some coffee and have some breakfast and, and then we'll, uh, we'll trek off. I'm not sure where we're going to go next. I don't think I'm going to stay here for another day. I may. We'll see. See how I feel. I don't have to be in a hurry. So, as always, if you could, uh, if you could like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. That'd be great. But most importantly, leave some comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear what you think, any suggestions that you might have on areas that I've missed, um, what you think of the photos, you know, that kind of thing. All right, so from 90 miles in the middle of nowhere, it's going to call it a day on this one. Thanks for watching. Rob out.